Hey boys, welcome back to round 6 of the Roosters career mode, taking on the Gold Coast Titans, who I think were languishing in 16th spot on the table. 16 or 15th, but, you know, it's still, it's still early in the season. The Titans might be able to turn it around like they did in real life, but we're still, I think we're still undefeated. Are we? I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we are. As you see though, they got Tom Opicic, Uh Actually, pretty, pretty good back line. Daniel Mortimer, Tyrone Roberts there. Uh, Taya Bird, Brian James. It looks pretty standard. Uh, La Matazi, a new signing. And uh, Kane Elgy's on the bench. So, you know, it's not a bad Titan side. Obviously, it's a fair bit different to the to the real life side. But that man, Zeb Taya here. What about this for a start to the game? <laughs> what a run. Zeb Taya, he's... How, how far was that? Like, 70 meter run. He's split the defense there. He's, uh... He's just walked around Ferguson. That is... That's one... One change for us, actually. I think this is the first game I actually did switch Ferguson to fullback and put Latrell Mitchell on the wing. And, uh, you know, a great first effort for uh, for Blake Ferguson there in defense. <laughs> you do not know how mad I was when that happened. It, more so for the fact that, goddamn Ferguson, I just moved into fullback. And he does that to me. I mean, because the one thing I've constantly said about Mitchell, you know, his stats are pretty bad, uh, you know. In, uh, in this game is... We're going to hit straight back, honestly, though. Daniel Tupo. Uh, we, we gathered the short kickoff, which is pretty pretty rare. And then just uh, big fella Tupo just powers his way over the line. But yeah, Ferguson. Well, the one thing I said about Mitchell, you know, doesn't do too much in attack. Not the quickest in this game, obviously, with the stats uh, for for a for a unknown player as he was at the time. Uh, his defense was actually, like, really good, like... Yeah, he missed the odd tackle, but consistently he made those type of tackles. But then Blake Ferguson, you know, mid to high 80 rated player, and he, he comes up with a terrible miss straight away. As uh, Daniel Tupo here, for some reason, I, I have no idea why I did that, but I <laughs> I gave it off to Copley. I mean, I cut back on the inside. We would have scored if we just kept going to the post, but, you know, I was unselfishly gave it off to, gave it off to Daniel Tupo. Uh, not Daniel, Dale, Dale Copley, uh, scores in the corner, I guess, you know, maybe, I think during the game, I just, I, I don't know, I thought Zillman was actually gonna come across and, uh, shut me down, but he was actually, like, a long way away, so, didn't need to do it, it's a few, a few offloads, <laughs> a few too many offloads, I would say, and Tyrone Roberts here is gonna pick it up, and, uh, almost get to the, almost make his pace straight away, but this time, Ferguson, Give him his props there. He does come up with a bit of a try saver. But uh, who is this Greg Bird? He just cuts back on the angle. It was a uh, it was a good little line run. I thought Dylan Napa had him lined up, but then he sort of just he sort of just stopped off the left foot, and uh, he just pierced the gap. He went through untouched. So the Titans hit back 12 all. You know we played, uh, you know pretty patchy in this game. It's been a uh, it's been a bit all over the shop. Daniel Tupo gets held up over the line, looking for his second try. But uh, a good field position to to attack here. Dale Copley again doing some good work close to the line. As uh, last play here, Nick Arima trying to put in the kick, but Matty Strama just uh, shoots out of line and just uh, just shuts the play down. As that man again, Zeb Taya, what is even happening? Taya steps around again. Daniel Tupo makes the tackle, but Zeb Taya is an absolute monster in this game. Apparently, I don't know what's going on. I uh. He's so quick. <laughs> he's he's legitimately so fucking quick in this game. Like, he's outside back, quick standard. Uh, you just split the defense there. As we look to attack the left, <laughs> Daniel Tupo, the big goose step, offloads to Jake Friend, but well wrapped up there by the Tons. And then the forward pass, Tons coming out of their own end. It would have been a decent kick. He was going to kick probably he was just outside the 40, but a... Uh, a poor play by the Titans, and then on the back of that, Ferguson, look at this room to move. Just no one inside. He's going to score his uh, his first try of the game. His first try at fullback, I think, too. So that was that was a bit too easy. I mean, it is easy to score scrums, but when I when I passed that to Ferguson, there was just there was no one inside of Ferguson. There was so much room to move and a very easy try. So going into the halftime break, it's uh it's been a pretty high scoring half of footy, 18 to 12. And uh that is going to be the final play, so we are taking the lead, although it's pretty, it's been a pretty um, inconsistent performance so far. As the Titans get a chance early in the second half to attack, they put up the bomb, 
decent kick, but uh, Aiden Guerra comes up with a nice, nice take under pressure and uh, relieves relieves pressure from the team. Is Nick Arima the X factor for us? A beautiful kick downfield, but the bounce just does not favour us. It cuts back in field. It's still a good kick though. Mitchell Pierce chases chases hard, and you know that's probably the biggest signing for us. You know we signed a couple of big forwards, including Paulie Paulie on the field there. Um, <laughs> what is that offload, Kenny Dow? Kenny Dow, terrible offload from us. What are we doing there? Um, <laughs> as uh, who was this? Mitch Robinson. Oh, <laughs> oh, I remember this. I I am still shaking my head. I I don't know what happened. It's not Mitch Robinson's Matthew Robinson. Who the hell? is Matthew Robinson, and what has he just done to the team here? He stepped around Pierce, shrugs off Kenny Dow, get out of the way. Ferguson, yeah, you too, just get out of the way. Scores one of the best solo tries you'll ever see. I <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Like, Matthew Robinson, I haven't even heard of him, so he can't be, like, that well rated. Greg Bird here steps around a couple as well. I gotta say, I mean, after this game, I was... I was really considering just getting rid of Ferguson at fullback because for some reason he cannot make tackles. Um, but I'm pretty sure I do. I do stick with Ferguson at the fullback <laughs> for fullback for a, for a bit longer. I think he does pick it back up. But yeah, we, he's just had a hard game at uh, in defence. I mean, the the rest of the team has been pretty bad in defence as well. Granted, but then Latrell Mitchell here. The big don't argue on Zillman. He's gonna get run down by Hoffman. <laughs> we pass it off to Ferguson. And we could have scored with Mitchell because for some reason Hoffman at the last second he stopped chasing us, but he was gonna catch us if we didn't if we didn't pass. So, you know, we got it away. And Latrell Mitchell, I just this game was like bizarro world, honestly, because Latrell Mitchell, I don't think I'm pretty sure his whole time playing fullback, I don't think he would have once palmed off a player. And then we switch him to the wing, and then for some reason he's just a, he's a gun. He just palms off Zillman, races away downfield. He he slowed up a fair bit, but he he did make it. And then Mitchell Pierce here trying to take control of the game. It's been a it's been a sloppy performance. Twenty four to eighteen though we are leading, and uh, kicks a forty twenty to further extend the momentum. It's just been all over the shop. <laughs> this game is a wild one. As Nick Arima, a beautiful pass. Kenny Dell is called forward. Refs, you're killing me. Touchies. What is that call? I thought it was a perfect. A flat ball to Kenny Dow. He drew the defense up on the uh, up on the inside defenders, and just uh, I thought it was beautiful play, but not to be as Latrell Mitchell once again palms off the fullback. And this is what I was talking about. I I don't know this game. It was so it was so crazy to me. It was good stuff by Kenny Dow to sort of hold it up, wait for Paulie Paulie to swing around, and then Latrell Mitchell just palms off another player with with ease. And like I said, I don't think he I don't think once he broke a tackle playing at fullback. I switch Ferguson and Mitchell. Ferguson can't tackle, and then Mitchell is breaking through tackles. I, I don't know, man. The fullback is cursed, apparently. But uh, good play here. Pauly Pauly, again, he's he's, uh, he's a good player to have at here. It's causing a bit of havoc, and Mitchell is going to get his, his second try. Probably he could have had a hat trick, but uh, unselfishly gave Ferguson, gave Ferguson his second try, I think it was. And uh, very nice play, very nice play. Just... Uh, Bit of a classic try right there, just springing it out to the to the edges, Paulie Paulie. He's uh, he's been a good signing. I was going to talk about the signings, <laughs> mainly the thing was Nick Arima. He's a, he's our X Factor signing. We signed a couple of big fellas, you know, Paulie Paulie, Terrapo, a couple of good forwards, but Nick Arima is definitely the X Factor that is uh, is going to help us a lot. As uh, bomb goes up, it's actually thirty four to eighteen. I just didn't realize how how big the scoreline shot out to, but that should be the ball game. One last play here, Nick Arima, our dummy half, is going to throw the dummy, get it out to Tupo, gets tackled, and uh, another win under the belt. It's a very sloppy game. Latrell Mitchell picks up, man, the match at fullback. What is happening? Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.